Welcome back to the El Yucateco YouTube channel, everybody. My name is Mike, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make the best cocktail meatball recipe that you've ever had. And it's coming up right now. Once again, welcome back. If this is your first time here and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so by clicking the button down there and clicking the bell to get notifications anytime we release new content. Now let's get right into this recipe. Now don't forget, as always, I'll have all the details for this recipe for ingredients, amounts, and cooking instructions down in the description. Just click on show more or the arrow if you're on your phone. Now we wanna start by getting our tomato sauce going in the slow cooker. So for starters, we're gonna spray this with a little bit of nonstick. Now we're gonna have the tomato sauce. Now I am reserving just a little bit of sauce to pour on top once we get all these meatballs in the slow cooker. Now we do want to flavor this sauce. So we're going with some salt, black pepper, oregano, basil, some fresh minced garlic, and we're gonna be kicking this up with some El Yucateco Red. Just a few dashes to kick up that flavor. Now let's get this a good mix. The tomato sauce is just that simple. I have the slow cooker set to the low setting and we're going to be cooking this on the low setting the whole way. Now it's time to prep the meatballs. So for our meatballs, I'm starting with two pounds of ground chuck, 80-20. Now we'll be adding eggs, breadcrumbs, salt, black pepper, garlic powder, oregano, basil, Parmesan cheese. Now for the magic. We're gonna be adding some El Yucateco Black to these meatballs to give them that nice roasted smoky flavor. Time to get our hands dirty. Make sure when you do this that you have a large enough bowl and that you take your time and mix the ingredients well. It's time to form some meatballs. Now for cocktail meatballs, I like to think about no more than golf ball size, usually a little bit less. So we're just gonna go ahead and take some of this. Now just roll this around in your hands. Bingo, perfect size. Now as we form these, we'll place these into the slow cooker. Just finished forming all these meatballs. They're in the slow cooker. Now we just wanna cover that top area with some more tomato sauce. Now it's just time to sit back, relax, and enjoy all the beautiful smells that are gonna come off this cooker for the next few hours. You can stir these every couple hours once they start to farm up, but you should only have to do that once or twice. I'll bring you back when it's time to serve. Three to four hours later, these meatballs are ready to serve. I did stir them a couple times throughout the cook process, like I said, so make sure you do that. Now it's time to serve these up. So we got these all served up here on a platter. They smell absolutely incredible. I'm gonna hit them up with a little bit of Parmesan and some parsley just for some color and some extra flavor. Okay, now it's time for my favorite part. Don't mind if I do. Cheers, everybody. This is absolutely delicious. The sauce comes through in both the sauce and in the meatballs. I definitely get a nice little smokiness in the meatball and a little kick at the end that just carries through. Not too much, just perfect. And this is a classic meatball recipe. So you can use this for regular meatballs, meatball sandwiches, whatever it is that you'd like to do. Now this particular recipe, the cocktail meatballs, is gonna be perfect for tailgating or for a party or a family gathering. Everybody is sure to love it. And I wanna thank you for hanging out with me today. I really sincerely appreciate your time as always. Take care, till next time, I'll see you on the next video.